Have a nice day. He had to work so fast on that fresh plaster before it dried in that incredible Roman summer heat. I'm always impressed with just how dropped in they are about themselves and about each other. Like they see each other. It's like one goes inside and then... It's all about having conversations and our school does this really well. We train the students to have dialogue and debate even when subjects are hard. In the center of that triangle, and we know that's two-thirds of the height. What, what do we need? What more do we need in order to solve the problem? Uh, C squared minus A squared equals B squared, since we're trying to find B. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's most impressive is to see their ability to attack a problem or to meet a question. They are never scared. They just go and they do it. Whatever has happened in the school, her intellectual capacity it so far surpasses anything that I can keep up with. It's really extraordinary. What happens for Waldorf kids is they know how to teach themselves. They know how to learn. They know how to look at a problem and make mistakes until they get it right. We're making globes out of tissue paper and balloons. It's the imaginary lines of the earth and stuff to make sure everything's divided correctly. Comes to sixth grade, and now we're really able to look at the world in its entirety. They have to feel with their hands where are things. And one of the things that I love about the Waldorf curriculum is that it's planned that way to really bring to the children and meet them with where they are themselves in their own development. We start looking at physics, chemistry in seventh and eighth grade, and those are the sciences that require an understanding of cause and effect. It's just about getting them to think more deeply about the world around them. So we've covered Brett Kavanaugh this year, we've covered um, drug addiction and homelessness in the Tenderloin, we talked about school shootings, um, and these are topics the students brought on their own. Our geology block was begun by being outside and having a real rugged physical experience. The children really had to exert themselves. It was a physical challenge. And then there's the rigorous times of the day where the classes are difficult. And then there's time for drawing or time for singing or time for music. So not just the mind, not just a certain kind of memorization and repetition. I think there's a myth that we don't test at our school. We bring testing, but in a way that, that is letting us learn more about the student and letting the student learn more about themselves than just merely for a grade. The block schedule and the deep dives that the children get to go into in main lesson. The fact that within that main lesson and what you're studying, the teacher is bringing in not just you know, standing at the front of the classroom, sort of lecturing to the kids, but they bring in a lot of hands-on experience. The teams do great. Uh, we have a real focus on the process and not just the results. And I think by focusing on that process, we develop uh, teamwork, sportsmanship, and compassion. My class is um, full of artists and musicians and, and academics, but then also they really care about each other. It's so deep and it's so well thought out, like these little nuances come out and they're just little treasures from the education throughout, you know, that I just, I just think it's so darn clever. The will to persevere, the curiosity to ask questions, the determination to find answers, the ability to work with others. It's a very special thing to give a kid. It's yeah. to head out in the world with. Mm -hmm.